Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and go dan selamat sejahtera. Okay, so this is for the lesson 8 which is we will learn about 5.3 self-inductance. So at the end of this chapter, students should be able to know how to define the self-inductance, apply the self-inductance formula L equal to negative P over DI over DT for coil and so on. So where you need to know how to use these three formula for the calculation of self-inductance. Okay, so for the 5.3a, so self-inductance, uh, we refer to this uh, figure. Solenoid is connected to a battery with a switch and with a variable resistor. So this is a form a complete circuit. When the switch is S is closed, a current begins to flow through the solenoid from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. And the current flows through all the uh, curl of the solenoid. So when the current produces a magnetic field, whose field line through the solenoid and generate the magnetic flux linkage. So this is the it will form the magnetic flux linkage. So if this resistance uh, resistance of the variable resistor changes, the value of the current also changes, and the, the flux linkage also change, changes. So, by according to the Faraday's law, any EMF has to be induced in the solenoid itself since the flux linkage changes. So, uh, if we refer to this uh, diagram, if red resistor change, current also change and then the magnetic flux also magnetic flux linkage also changes that will experience the uh, EMF in induced. So in according with the Lenz law, the induced EMS oppose the changes that has induced it and is known as a back EMF. So we look at this diagram. If the current I is increased through this solenoid, the direction of the induced EMS in the mass in flow in the opposite direction of the current I to oppose the change, change which is the current in increase. And if the current is decreased, so this the current in the induced EMF must flow in the same direction with the current current I. So this is known as the safe induct induction. For your more understanding for about the the flow of the self induction, so let's watch this video. When current I flows through a coil, some electric flux produces inside the coil. At that moment of self induction phenomenon, the induced EMF generates to oppose this rate of change of current in that coil. For the DC source, when the switch is on, that is just at T is equal to 0 plus, a current will flow from its zero value to a certain value. And with respect to time, there will be a rate of change in current momentarily. This current produces magnetic field lines phi through this coil. As current changes its value to zero to a certain value, that's why magnetic flux phi gets rate of change with respect to the time that is d phi dt. Alright, let's continue with the self-inductance. Okay, self-inductance, uh, for this diagram A, a current in the coil produces a magnetic field directed to the left. So this one, uh, we know that uh, by using the uh, right hand grid wheel, we will know about the direction of the current through this solenoid. And then for diagram B, we know that with the current increase, the direction of the car it, uh, current induced in the opposite direction. And then if the current decrease, the flow of the current induced must flow with the uh, same direction as the current de decrease. Alright, so for the self-induction experiments, we need to know what the effect of the self-induction for this circuit with the experiment for the different lamp. 
lamp A2 is connected with the variable resistor while for the lamp A1 is connected with the iron core which is coil L. So initially variable R is adjusted so that the two lamps have the same brightness in their respective circuit with the steady current flowing. So this one uh, initially we didn't put the coil L but we just have the variable resistor is adjusted in the circuit so we know that these two lamp is uh, is flow in the same brightness and after the switch s is closed the lamp a2 with variable resistor r is seen to be become more bright almost immediately but the lamp a1 with the iron core l increase slowly to the full bright brightness so we know that the coil is undergoes the self induction because uh, it experience when the switch S is closed, the current is in increased flow through the solenoid and go to the uh, lamp A1 and induce EMF in it. So the induced back EMF opposes the growth of the current, so the blue in the lamp A1 increase slow slowly. So we know that from this uh, graph. A1 with a coil L is slowly increase until it reach the uh, full brightness. But for lamp A2 with the resistor R, it is a uh, bright, inc uh, bright immediately with the resistor. R. So resistor R have no BMF, back EMF, hence the lamp A2 grow fully bright as soon as switch S is, is closed. Alright, so for the example 10, a circuit contain an onion core called L, coil L, a switch S, a resistor and a DC source. EMF arranged in a series as shown in the figure 5.17. The switch S is closed for a long time and is suddenly open. Well, explain why a spark jump across the switch contact S. So we know that when this circuit have coil L and then this switch S is closed for a long time, which is the current uh, have in this circuit when the when the switch is suddenly open, so it, the current will be immediately decreased. So we know that it will be have induced EMF or back in M MF. So the, so the answer for this question, when the switch S is suddenly open, the current in the circuit start to fall very rapidly and induce a maximum EMF in the core L, which tends to maintain the car. Current. So the back EMF is high enough to break down the insulation of the air between the switch contact S and spark can easily appear at the at the switch. So this one because it is have a back EM EMF happen in the circuit when the uh, switch is suddenly off open. So the self inductance is defined as the ratio of the self induced or back EMF to the rate of the change of current in the coil. So this is the definition of the self induction. While the formula is L equal to negative E EMF over DI over DT. So where E is for the EMF, DI over DT is the rate of change of the current. So we know that. The, the formula for the EMF equal to negative N dV over dt and EMF equal to negative L of di over dt. So when we substitute this one EMF, EMF, we substitute each other negative L di over dt and negative N di over dt. So dt and dt we can uh, cancel each other. So we know that L d, uh, Integrate with di and integrate the dv. So integrate each other, we get li equal to n v. So li equal to n v. So we rearrange, we get l equal to n v over i. Or this is the uh, v for the inductor divided by i. So this is the formula for the self induct inductance. So this is the refer for the magnetic flux link. Linkage. 
So the magnitude, uh, so the subinductor is a scalar quantity, and the unit of it is Henry, which is capital H. And then this is the unit conversion for the Henry one Henry equal to one Weber per ampere or one telameter squared per m. Uh, per m ampere. So the value of the self inductor is depends on the size and shape of the coil, the number of turn, and the permeability of the media in the coil, which is mu. So so this is the symbol of induct inductor in the electrical circuit. So for the self inductance of the coil, where the magnetic flux density at the center of the coil of the end turn is. So the formula for the magnetic flux density for the center B equal to mu naught and I over to to R. Then we substitute into the formula of P equal to B A cos theta. So theta equal to zero because the coil is always maxi maximum. So we substitute B into this formula. We get V naught and I over to R and then multiply with area. Then rearrange. Uh, we got mu naught and I A over 2R and then we substitute into this formula L equal to NP over I and then we will get this formula L equal to mu naught and squared A over 2, 2R. This is the self inductance for the center of a coil of the end entrance. And then for this one is for the solenoid. At the center of the air coil solenoid, so the formula for the magnetic flux density of solenoid is B equal to mu naught and I over L. So for the same step, we substitute into the formula of V equal to B A cos theta, B mu naught and I A over L. And then we substitute into the formula of the self inductance and V over I. And then we will get this formula for the self inductance of the solenoid. Alright. So let's continue with discussing the example 11. So a 500 ton of solenoid is uh, 8 cm long when the current in the solenoid is increased from 0 to 2.5 ampere in 0 0.35 seconds. The magnitude of the induced M is 0 0.012 volt. Calculate the inductance of the solenoid, the cross-sectional area of the solenoid, and the final magnetic flux linkage through the solenoid. So given mu naught equal to 4 pi times 10 power negative 7 Henry per meter. So we uh, take out the information given, which is N is 500, L is the length of the solenoid, 8 centimeter. And then the initial current is 0, final current is 2.5, and then the time is 0 0.35 second, and then the induced CMS 0 0.012. Calculate the self inductance of the solenoid. So we need to calculate the difference of the current is 2.5 minus 0, so we get 2.5 ampere. So the formula of the inductance of the solenoid is EMF equal to negative L di over dt. So... Uh, we need to calculate your L. So we know that the induced CMF, even this induced CMF in this formula, not included with the negative. So we need to put the negative because induced CMF is always flow in the, uh, it is always flow opposed with the relation of the car current. So it will be negative 0 0.012 equal to L. Negative 2.5 divided by the time is 0 0.35. So when you rearrange the formula, you will get L for the self inductance is 1.68 times 10 power negative 3 hand Henry. Okay, so the question B for the calculate the cross section areas for the solenoid, we calculate by using the formula L equal to mu naught and squared A over L. So we know we already get L substitute mu naught n and the length so rearrange the formula you will get the value of area 4.28 times 10 point negative 4 meter squared all right so for the third formula is calculate the final magnetic flux linkage through the solenoid so we will use the formula of v equal to l Li, so we already get the L and then the final current is 2.5. So we'll get your final magnetic flux linkage is 4.2 times 10 power negative 3 where Weber. WB is represent where Weber. Alright, so continue with the 5.4 energy stored in the inductor. 
So for the learning outcomes, you need to derive and use the energy stored in an inductor U equal to half Li squared. So energy stored in an inductor. So we use the formula of EMF, L di over dt. And then we know that the electrical power P is overcome the back EMF in the circuit. So P equal to IV. So because of we have the back EMF, we substitute V with EMF, P equal to IE. And then uh, we know that EA equal to LDI dt. Substitute, you will get LI di per dt. And then you re uh, arrange dt to the left side will be p dt equal to li di and then you need to integrate both sides so integrate both sides so you will get half, u equal to half li squared u is the energy stored in the inductor okay so it is analogous to the 1 over 2 cv squared so this is the energy stored in the capacitor for a long a called solenoid, the self-inductance L equal to mu naught n square A over L. So the energy stored in the solenoid, so we substitute this formula into the formula of energy stored in the inductor. So you will get half mu naught n squared A I squared over L. So you no need to memorize this formula, you just... No, need to know how to get this formula by substituting this u with l. Alright, so example 12. A current of 3 ampere flows in coil L and is produce a magnetic flux of 0 0.75 Weber in it when a coil D is moved near to the coil causally. A flux of 0 0.25 Weber is produced in coil D if coil C has 1000 turns and coil D has 5000 turns. Okay, calculate self-inductance of coil C and the energy stored in C before D is moved near to it. B, calculate the mutual inductance of the coil. C, if the current C in C decreasing uniformly from 3 ampere to 0 in 0 0.25 seconds. Calculate the induced EMF in coil D. Okay, so we need to uh, take out all the information given. So this one we get the current flow in C is 3 ampere, the uh, phi equal to 0 0.75 Weber, for D is it 2, 0 0.25 Weber, the number of turns for C is 1000, number of turns for D is 5000 turns. So how to calculate the self in that of coil C and the energy stored in C before D move near it. So for the self inductor C, we use the formula NC V over IC. So just substitute the formula already given. So you get the self inductor for coil C is 250 Henry. Well, for the energy stored in C, U equal to half LC IC squared. So substitute the value of L and I, you will get the energy stored in C is 1,125 Joule. Alright, for B, calculate the mutual inductance of the coil is given by M equal to ND phi over I. So just substitute the value of D, number of turn of D, the number of flux linkage D, and then the current flow in C. So you get the mutual inductance is 470 Henry. Easy, right? And then the last one is uh, calculate the induced EMF in the coil is negative m di over, di over dt and then the car substitute all the information already given so the emf through the call d is 5004 volt right okay so done thank you guys for the for listen for this lesson eight